Hello and welcome to our TOA wireless tutorial. Today we'd like to show you how to use the frequency scan function of our 5000 series receivers. Since the involved steps will be the same for the WT5800 and 5805, we'll demonstrate it using this 5800 receiver here. You can find the desired function in the main menu by pressing the set button for about one second and then navigating to the channel check option by using the up and down buttons. Pressing the set button will initiate the scanning process. The two antenna LEDs will now start flashing alternately, changing back and forth between A and B. In the display, we can see that the receiver is now checking the channels one after the other. After successful completion of the scanning process, the display will read vacant channel. Below that, all channels of the currently selected bank will be listed that have been found to be free and that can be used. Now we can scroll through all available frequencies using the navigation keys. Occupied or unusable frequencies will not be displayed in this view. The desired frequency can now be selected by pressing the set button and the receiver is ready to go. If, within the bank that has just been scanned, the amount of free channels does not suffice, you can simply switch over to one of the other banks and run the channel check again. For the WT5810, the channel check can also be performed very easily. With the unit turned on, we only need to hold down the set and next buttons at the same time for about one second. The receiver will commence the scanning process. Just like before, the two antenna LEDs will now start flashing alternately, changing back and forth between A and B, and we can see that the receiver is checking every channel. Now that the scanning process is done, the frequency indicator will start flashing. All frequencies that have been found to be free and usable can now be displayed by stepping through them using the next key. All the unusable frequencies will not be displayed. When we come to the frequency that we would like to use, we only need to press the set button for a short while and the frequency will be set as the receiving frequency of the unit. For questions regarding this tutorial or if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, please contact us at info at toa.co.uk. Thanks for watching and see you next time.